All right, today's lesson um, 4.8 is all about dividing using partial quotients. Now, this is very similar to the lesson we did with 4.7, which was dividing using repeated subtraction. The only thing that's different here is that we realize that sometimes it's going to take larger groups of our divisor. So we want to take out big groups. And so I like to call this the bank method. So I'm going to put my bank over here. This is where I'm going to keep track of all of the groups of five that I'm taking out. So when I'm doing partial quotients, the biggest thing you want to do is try and take out groups of 10 times your divisor because tens are easy to work with. So if I take out 10 groups of five, 10 times five is 50. So I'm going to subtract my 10 groups And remember, you have to regroup when you're subtracting. So now I have 75 left. Well, I know that 10 times 5 is 50. And that means I could take out another 10 groups. I'm going to put 10 in my bank. 10 times 5 is 50. So I'm going to subtract 50 again because I'm taking out my 10 groups. 5 minus 0, 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. Now I only have 25, so I can't take out 10 groups of 5 anymore. So that's when we can start to take out um, the next smallest. So we want to go from 10s. Now I know that I can take out 5 groups of 5 because 5 times 5 is 25. So 5 times 5, 25. I'm going to subtract 25. And now I have none left over. Now I come over here to my bank to find my quotient or my answer to my division problem. I'm just going to add up what's in my bank. 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 5 is 25. So that means that in 125, there are 25 groups of Five. Now, one other way that you can do partial quotients, I'm going to show you one other method. Um, if you have a larger problem, like let's say you have the number 864 divided by 8. Now, this is a really large number. So, when we're thinking about how large of groups to take out, we want to try and take out groups of 5, 10, 100, because those are easy numbers to multiply. So if I look at my first digit, I have an 8. And I know that 8 goes into 8, which means I can actually take out 100 groups of 8. So 100 times 8 is 800. Subtract that, now I have 64. Now you can go off of your multiplication. Some of you will automatically know that there are eight groups of eight and 64. If not, that's okay. I know I can't take out 10 groups because 10 times eight would be 80, but I could take out five groups. Five times eight is 40, which gives me 24 left. And then I know that that eight times 3 is 24, so I can take out 3 groups to get to 0. Partial products is all about taking it out in chunks instead of just solving the entire problem. So when I add these together, my final answer is 108. Okay, so remember with partial quotients, you're just taking out big chunks. You're breaking this number apart into little pieces, so it's a little bit easier to divide.